Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. Hope everybody is well. Uh, so I started the second job today. And I'm still trying to get warm. <laughs> it is freezing out up here right now. And so I stood there for the better part of six hours taking money from people in front of a space heater. And there was heat coming down on me, but I'm still, oh, I've been home for like two hours now and I'm still trying to get warm. Anyway, okay. Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp, baby. This one is for you. It resonates really cool. If not, well, it might not be your reading, but it's your free will journey if you choose to do with the message. You can put the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. It's thrown down cards. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. If you're a cross watcher up in here, I give you props for trying to figure out your person and for knowing that their birthday is on a cusp. So, hey, that's awesome. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff, you want to come back and hang out some more, that would be super cool of you. Hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. If you are returning, welcome back. Friends, I have opened comments back up. Feel free to leave ones. Don't be a jerk. Make me shut them back off again. Two of Pentacles. Oh, who's weighing options? <laughs> uh, what do I do here? Oof. Where was I? Where was I? This is slightly embarrassing because I can't remember where I was in my spiel before I saw that. Okay. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who may need the messages. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And once again, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, it is okay to leave the cards on the table and walk away. We will try again next month. Cuss babies. I think I need to just take some, like, cold medicine because I'm all nasally and chest congested and just go to bed after this reading. Thinking about it indeed. Okay. We got the devil and we got the fool. No wonder you're weighing options. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be trying to exit a toxic situation that you are bound to. The challenge is breaking away, trusting yourself, and starting something new. <coughs> what's coming in knave of cups hanged man six of pentacles that's beautiful that is flipping beautiful that helps anybody make their mind up i mean don't make a life altering decision based on what my cards say but why is it all happening magician the seven of swords and the world ho oh. I gotta start doing these live. I never remember to tip the camera down. Three of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. This is gonna be heartbreaking. Your outcome is the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Toxic situation or toxic obsession? One on the devil. I'm, I'm going to stir these up a little bit here. And we're going to get one on the devil. I'm just going to let him fly, so it's okay. One on the devil. Okay, three on the devil. Queen of Swords, Three of Cups, Page of Cups. Mm. That little page in that little night. The little page in that little night. Hmm. Shoot. You're stuck like Chuck, yo. <laughs> I 
that's a problem. There's a choice here. Which will serve me better? I've never heard of the devil talking about a tie to two people. Obviously, you're tied to more one of them more so than the other. Could be toxic reasons, or they could just be a chemical one. Could be sex based, too. I mean, just throwing that out there. But I feel like this is kind of third party esque at this point. One of the full. Five of cups, six cups. You feel a connection to this person. That's why the challenge is jumping. There's like a deep emotional tie here. Perhaps one of them is a sexual tie and the other one's an emotional tie. Talk to me about this Knave of Cups. Talk to me about the Knave of Cups. Thank you. Ten of Swords into the Ace of Swords. Wheel and Justice. Oh, wow. Huh. Now I'm wondering. Is that cup, is that fish in that cup a way out? Four of coins reversed, five of coins reversed. <coughs> That's the unlocking of the door. That's the letting somebody back in. You had an old soul, old friend coming back, giving you an opportunity to escape from something. What's this hanged man here for? What's this hanged man here for? Might be important. Five of Wands reversed, the Six of Wands reversed, Two of Swords reversed, and Three of Swords reversed. Just trying to avoid conflict. <sighs> Hoping this doesn't get noticed. Trying to accept the fate of the situation. Don't have enough clarity to make a decision. Can't escape the heartbreak. Ace of coins into the two of coins. There's the decision. There's the decision. Which seed grows, which seed does not. Six of pentacles. King of cups reversed. To the page of cups reversed. Poker faced, cut off in communication. One more. One more. Six of coins reversed to the seven of coins reversed. You've done run out of patience. You're going after something that's equal. You're going after balance. You're dropping the coin that has the strings attached to it. Five of swords reversed, six of swords reversed. Ace of cups reversed, the two of cups reversed. Oh, shit. You're gonna try. You're gonna try. Dang, one more. There it is. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands goes after what she wants and gets it. They're going to try to pull you back. They're going to try to pull you back. Try to stop you from this new start. I don't think there's anything stopping you, baby. Calling in that fire. Calling in that fire. One on this magician, please. One on the magician. Talk to me about this magician as for why it all happened. Hermit reversed, wheel reversed, karmic cycle.
Three of Wands reversed to the Four of Wands reversed. You called in something you walked away from long ago. You called in something that you shut yourself out from. You called in unfinished business. You called in unfinished business. <coughs> Finally, that seven of swords don't look so shady. One of the seven of swords. It's a return card for me. King of coins reversed to the page of coins reversed. You came back, but something tried to hold you back from it. Oh, hi. I saw it in the upright. And it landed in the upright. Chariot and strength. Could have traveled a great distance. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. Four of wands and then the five of wands. The door opened back up. It caused a conflict. Oh, you had to harness some strength, didn't you? Something came to a close. Talk to me about this world card. Talk to me about this world card. Ten of wands reversed and ace of wands reversed. The burden remains. Eight of coins to the nine of coins, but you strive for your independence. You tried to end it, but they held you back. But you put in the work. Probably saved every penny you could to gain your independence. Eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. You're breaking free, baby. You're breaking free. You're breaking free. Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Oh, that guy not so sneaky. This guy totally, these are not the same dude. Dude, chick, insert your pronoun, I don't care. Mm. Insert whatever pronoun works best for you. Not the same person. This dude's after blood. This dude's after the mental mind cage. Causing confusion. I'm not letting you walk away. You're coming back to me. You're breaking free. That fool is brave. That fool is brave, friends. That fool is brave. That fool is brave. And the fool is fearless. You're breaking free. You're harnessing. You're bringing in that fire. Fire don't give a shit. I'll tell you that right now. Fire don't give a shit. <coughs> fire acts first and asks questions later. Okay. Talk to me about this Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. Five of coins reversed to the six of coins reversed. Six of wands to the seven of wands. You're going to rise up. You're ghosting whatever was not equal or even. You're walking away. You're walking away. You're getting it out of your head. Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords. You speak in truth. Sometimes that little Page of Swords has to tell 
you things that you don't want to hear and sometimes it says to me that you have to say something that someone else is not going to want to hear and you will have to break heart but I promise you this is for your higher good this is for your higher good Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords. Damn it, it's there again. You gotta walk away to get your Ten Pentacles. You got, you got to ride that bumpy ass river <coughs> because they're just gonna suck you back in. Which Seven of Swords do you want? The one that's gonna serve you or the one that's not? Strength in the upright going into the hermit sometimes it takes more strength to let go and walk away than it does to hang on you got to walk that path it's a dark one but you have the light you have the light within you you have the light of strength within you four of swords reversed and then five of swords reversed they want to keep you restless they want to keep you defeated because they don't want their heart broken. That's selfish bullshit to me. Ace of coins. Knight of cups reversed to the queen of cups reversed. Moon into the sun reversed. The sun upright. You have to close your emotions off to something. You have to break an emotional attachment to get your pinnacle, to get to here, to get the ball rolling. You have to break that tie, that toxic tie. You have the clarity that you need to find your happiness, friends. The star reversed and the moon reversed. There's healing to do. There's a journey to take. <coughs> the path is about to be illuminated, but your soulmate is there to help you. And yeah, shit's going to go down. Shit's going to go down. But I promise you, at the end of the day, you break free. because you cut the communication off from that that was holding you back from your justice and keeping you in the gallows friends I'm not gonna keep going give me a moonology Scorpio Sag that's way too many I'm not taking all those Scorpio Sag cuss babies Confidence is your key to success. Prosperity lies ahead. Oh my gosh. What did I say to you? What did I say to you? New moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. This card heralds the start of a new cycle for you when you're going to look and feel more glorious, more in the spotlight, more like you have something worth showing off. If you want someone's attention, this card says it's coming. However, this may not happen all by itself. You have to be willing to do your bit, but means that means being proud of who you are and what you have to offer. Think of yourself as the king or queen of the jungle as you carry yourself accordingly. 
this card is also a great omen if you're asking about a creative project you're working on alternatively it can herald good news or a new start for your children hmm. prosperity lies ahead new moon in Taurus this card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth this card suggests you can have what you want including material things but you must believe in yourself this comes down to the law of attraction value yourself and others will value you too you can create abundance Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus and this card holds the new moon energy so now is a good time to take a 12 make a five month make a 12 month financial plan oh my gosh if I can make words work right now this card can also set another the start of a re new relationship or of sexier times if you've been wrestling with someone sorry if you've been wrestling with something for a long time the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet nice give me a wisdom give me a wisdom that's way too many but we're gonna take <coughs> new life oh my gosh I think I need to be done for the night guys start to lose my voice oh new life number 39 Birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around. In your very core, blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song. And nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon all of us. This, this is one of those times in your life. When new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true, all is well in your world, and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to be filled with enthusiasm. Let your light shine. This is a time for good fortune. Huh? Well, friends, my Scorpio Sagittarius cusp babies, thanks for coming down. I appreciate you. I send you off with peace, love, and light, and ask you to be blessed and enjoy the next three to four weeks. All right? Take care.